David Central! Good morning, David Central. I'm in Coventry right now at a place called Tegta, which is a Turkish cuisine based bakery. They provide pastries, breakfast. Guys, they make some amazing breakfasts. Not only one type of breakfast, they've got several types of breakfasts, but they've also got various pastries and pizzas and bagels. And I'm super excited to share this place with you. Let's go inside. And have a look. So yes guys, as you can see, they have a buffet of items here right now. So these are like the pastries and stuff guys. They've got bagels, as you can see from the closer. Guys, they've got bagels, they've got different kinds of bagels, ciabatta rolls, and you've got the breakfast rolls, you've got the normal chicken, or lemon herb, for example, spicy ones. Guys, you've got the normal soft bagels, and you've got fresh salads there. They've also got samosas, pizzas, they are your normal things, guys. You've got your pastries, for example. Guys, the beautiful thing is everything's halal. So obviously you've got the lamb sheesh pastry, you've got the steak and bake pastry, the mormon pastry, guys. There are so many different types of pasties here. It's crazy, right? But something that they meant to do, which is absolutely amazing, is the breakfast, I told you guys. We've got a range of breakfasts. I've just got one breakfast. They've got like six different ranges, for example. Actually, seven, right? <laughs> um, no, actually, yeah, seven, for example. We've got turkey breakfast, bed breakfast, bed breakfast, bed breakfast, bed breakfast, bed breakfast, bed breakfast that's meant to be absolutely delicious while we're going to try that for example. We've got English breakfast, we've got egg and siyuk. So siyuk is like basically like a sausage, but it's like a spicy Turkish TV sausage, guys, right? They've also got, if you come down here, guys, they have various types of cakes as well. They've got the baklava, as you can see. Guys, you can't go wrong with that baklava, you know what I'm saying? They've got normal cakes, they've got the um, croissants, they've got a pan, pan chocolate. They've got um, milk cakes, guys. These milk cakes, five. That's a trailer J caramel milk cake. Um, they've got the pistachio milk shake, as milk nut milk shake milk cake. Um, and yes, guys, you can also get like baklava in tubs. And they also do fresh orange juice. You know what I'm saying? So um, also they do these kind of different things as well. Like I think that's the sugar sugar cane drinks. Pretty cool. But guys, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go take a seat and we're gonna go get some food and then I will see you, we're gonna do a mukbang as well. Let's do this. I am at Tegta, which is a Turkish bakery in Coventry and I have some amazing and delicious items in front of me, guys. These are three different types of breakfasts. Guys, we've got the Meleman with suyuk, which is basically a Turkish omelet with a sort of uh, beef sort of sausage, guys, yeah? Um, and various herbs and spices. Um, we've got their bagel, bagel bread. Um, that should be fire. That's meant to be delicious. We've got the English breakfast and we've got the normal Turkish breakfast like feta cheese. That same sujuk it's called, right? That uh, beef sausage. Um, we've got the cheese, olives, different types of sauces and the um, well, scrambled eggs. And I've also got one of the pastries, guys, because uh, I had to have a pastry, right? Uh, this is a lamb sheesh pastry. I'm starving. We've got beans as well. I have not eaten today. This is a morning one. I thought, you know what? Let's have a bit of breakfast and uh, let's do this so the first thing i'm gonna go for is this menemen and sayuk so guys that does look fire though it doesn't even look like egg you know you can tell from the texture it is egg but it's red it's mad all right let's, let's do this mm. guys that is fire that is It tastes a little bit like, it's like, um, it has that, that taste of like a cheesy kind of pasta -y kind of taste, which is mad because it's egg. It doesn't taste like that mm. Oh my God, that sausage is fire as well. Guys, with the egg, right, what it is is it's got the eggy texture, so it's that sort of soft, creamy kind of texture but at the same time because it's got all the tomatoes and herbs and stuff inside it it really gives that pasta kind of taste a tomato and basil mm. oh, delicious this sausage guys oh my god it's got that juicy that little bit of greasy oily taste but that's what you want from a sausage you know what I'm Oh my god, guys, it's like, it's like thick pieces of that halal pepperoni, that's what it tastes like, thick pieces of halal pepperoni, and you got that massive tomato there, guys, oh my god, I'm loving it, mm. this is so good.
I know I've got to do nothing wrong, but guys, that is absolutely delicious. I am loving that. Right. Guys, so basically, I think this place opened recently in Coventry. Uh, I think a friend of mine told me to come down. They were like, yo, the place is banging breakfast, especially they do pastries as well. But you go try this breakfast. It's absolutely delicious. Guys, 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 I'm tasting it right now and it's delicious, man. Um, literally, guys. What else I'm gonna go for right now is obviously I've got the normal breakfast and stuff, which is like, it's bread. So this, this isn't actually toasted bread. It's just bread this is, um, which is interesting. As you know me, guys, I'll eat with my hands. You know what I'm saying? But guys, you've got the sausage as well. Got the turkey rasher, this is English, English breakfast, obviously. Um, you've probably eaten this before yourself. You know what? I'm actually going to use knife and fork for this because there's so many items here, right? And I'm thinking, yo, let me try this. But guys, that Menemen Siyuk thing was absolutely delicious, literally. I love that. That was delicious. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. You know what? I haven't actually had bread with uh, a breakfast before. It's kind of different. Does that make sense? Because it's the English breakfast with bread. I think it's less heavy. Does that make sense? But I'd still, me personally, I'd probably still go for normal toast. But everything else is fine. Though the sausage is like a jumbo sausage. You remember a shop called Taste of Elaine Aston? They used to be these kind of sausages. It's closed now. But uh, guys, look at them. They're called jumbo sausages. You know what I'm saying? But. If I compare the sausages, this to you here, two pounds. I got a cheese in there as well. So guys, I'm not gonna comment too much on the English breakfast because it's it's English breakfast. You know exactly how it's gonna be. Obviously, it's cooked just right. You got the mushrooms, you got the tomatoes, you got the egg. But the main thing we're here for is the Turkish breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Um, which is why. Mm. Oh my god, guys, I am loving this food. Literally, everything is cooked to perfection. Even the egg, guys, look, it's, it's like perfectly cooked. I like it. Mm. And you know what, guys, like I said, I'm mainly here for the Turkish food because I haven't really eaten that many Turkish places. I used to eat at a place when I was in Sheffield, the uni, called. Um, Istanbul, that was actually fire. I used to have lamb sheesh and uh, fries there. But obviously, this is breakfast. I've never actually had Turkish breakfast. And this is meant to be the signature Turkish breakfast, right? Um, there's no bread. I'm, I'm, in, I'm interested, I'm intrigued by that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this bread, right? And we're going to go for this. So, what I'll do is I'll go for the, you know, let's do this. Let's do this like salami kind of thing you got the eggs here I'm saying you got different sauces as well they're yeah, different kind of sauces let me smell this sauce is that yogurt that's yogurt that is mm. so with the actual Turkish breakfast it's actually this is all um, all these items are like mainly apart from the eggs everything else is cold items so it's interesting how every country will have like different dishes. Like if you go to America, people eat like sugary things for breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Like they eat donuts and they eat like you know bagels, but not these kind of bagels. They eat like sugary bagels for breakfast. Um, whereas like you know in Turkey, for example, you've got the, you've got this. You know what I'm saying? Which is interesting because it's it's more of a refreshing breakfast. Look at the eggs going out. My favorite though is that. But turkey breakfast is interesting. For example, they've got like slices of cheese. You know what I'm saying? They look like pizza slices. Right? <laughs> um, which is interesting. You know what I'm saying? I've never actually had turkey breakfast before. It's mainly like... It's mainly like a protein-based meal. Does that make sense? You've got the cheese, you've got the feta cheese as well. You've got the mature cheddar cheese, you've got the eggs. You've got the salami. Guys, it's quite healthy though. I'll give them that. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
<laughs> bit of seed in there. I, I live obviously, right? Yeah. Um, basically, guys, I've got some signature Turkish tea as well, guys. You know what? Turkish tea is always amazing. They usually give it after, but obviously, I wanted it with my meal because I'm doing the video. You know what I'm saying? Can't go wrong with Turkish tea, gang, now, mate. I do have normal English tea there, but Turkish tea is Turkish tea. It's delicious. A little bit of sugar in there, you know what I'm saying? It's got that sugar. It's got that sugar, sugar. Yeah, so guys, um, in terms of Turkey, it's a country that I'm actually I'm thinking about visiting. Because I heard it's very beautiful, all the food is halal there, for example. And let's say that, you know, shawarma does not come from Turkey. It comes from Iraq or Iran, by the way, yeah? <laughs> I have a thing because Donna Meat comes from Turkey, I think. Mm. This is my favourite though. This is my favourite, the Manan and Suyuk. Guys, absolutely delicious. This is great. I'm loving it. And guys, you know what? Um, I actually wanted to touch on one topic. Super quick, right? Before I continue on to the pastry. The topic I wanted to touch on was, guys, weed. Right? I know it sounds crazy, but I did a, a, I saw a video the other day of a rapper called Ardi. Right, you probably know who he is, he's smashing it right now. So now Audi spoke about how he used to smoke weed and when he's when he started music when he started sorry, let me repeat that one second, right? So Audi the rapper who's absolutely smashing it right now spoke in an interview about how when he stopped smoking weed and I had to burp. Why did I have to burp for right? <laughs> let me repeat that. So Audi, who's a massive rapper right now, right? Young rapper from UK, spoke in an interview about how he stopped smoking weed and his music career took off. Does that make sense, right? This is something that I want to touch upon because, truth be told, right, I myself used to, unfortunately, smoke weed myself, right? You know, um, I was around the wrong people, for example. I smoked weed and I thought it was a cool thing to do because the people around me were smoking it. And I think it was like a getaway drug because it makes you feel happy, but it didn't. In fact, what happens with weed is you start off smoking it. And yeah, you might think it's cool because people around you are smoking it, but all it does is it makes you lazy. It makes you lazy and the longer you smoke it for, the more addicted you become and you become seriously lazy and unmotivated to do anything. And the same thing happened to me, guys, you know, when I stopped smoking weed a few years ago and I started my YouTube channel, guys, everything, my life started to change. When I stopped smoking weed, my life started to change. And I'm being real with you, a lot of people out there who will say, oh yeah, you know, no, but weed helps me do things. Like there might be people who rap and say, I smoke weed and rap. But let me ask you one question, the same question that 50 Cent says in his book hustle harder hustle smarter 50 cent says in his book hustle harder hustle smarter that if doctor if you're a rapper and you say that you need weed to be able to write your lyrics and be creative if dr dre came in the studio right now and said you've only got 10 minutes to give me whatever you've got your best stuff and you had no weed on you so you couldn't buy a deal or anything what would you do in that moment of course you're going to give him what you've got so it's just a mindset thing you know if you can smoke weed and do certain things in life that you think that weed enabled you to do it. trust me if you stop smoking weed your life will change because weed is a drug that keeps most people down in society it'll make you lazy right it'll make you unmotivated it'll make you start having hallucinations and random stuff and you'll be there like do you know what i'm saying yeah you might get some people probably do get the giggles one up here and there but see them after a prolonged time they won't even be having showers properly trust me guys yeah you look at the clothes you'll, you'll, you'll start to see it as time goes on does that make sense and it's just something to think about, right? Obviously, people are looking at me now in the blaze when it comes to speaking about weed. But that's something I wanted to touch on, guys. You know, I smoke weed, and when I stop, my life started to change. And I recommend this to everyone don't smoke, don't think it's cool or anything like that. Hmm. Because it's not. <laughs> Amazed behind the camera. Was that an interesting, was that a good combo, yeah? Mm. Mm? They, can't, they can't hear you by the way. So guys, now right now what we're going to do is... Go ahead now, guys. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go for the pastry. The lamb cheese pastry, right? It's a big pastry, you know what I'm saying? Gang, gang, gang. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, that looks fire though. That was delicious, you know. That's how bad it is. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. That minced meat. 
pastry is crunchy but soft at the same time. It's kind of spicy though. If you don't like spices, you're not going to like it. If you like spices, you like this. Mm. That's what pastry that is. But if you want my take for the whole thing, it has to be the Menin and you Turkish. This Turkish breakfast dog. So that's the normal Turkish breakfast. It's the Menen, Menen and Siyuk guys. On his new. I can you have this in the morning? You'll be firing, man. You'll be firing. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving it, guys. Literally, this is absolutely delicious. Um, I'm nearly kind of all. Nearly kind of all, guys. As I said, it's something different. I've never had it before. I think I'd definitely have a Kendo. This is what I would go for, literally. Oh my god. Guys, I never stop eating, do I? I never stop eating. Um, but I do diet throughout the week, by the way. Obviously, if you were just after a normal breakfast, then the normal English breakfast is decent. By the way, guys, they usually open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So, you know, if you're going to work or something like that and driving through, definitely pop down. Well, definitely using well. And um, English restaurant banging. Manin and Siyuk, obviously banging. This year, I think. With the Turkish breakfast, the actual Turkish breakfast, whether that's something I'd go for for a breakfast, me personally, that's not something I'd choose. Um, not because it's not nice, because everything, obviously it's fresh items, right? You've got the cheese, you've got the cheese, you've got salami, but it's not something that I'd personally want for breakfast because I'd rather go for that for breakfast, does that make sense, right? Um, whereas that is something I'd go for maybe at like brunch time. Does that make sense? Because if I woke up and I started eating <laughs> my church and the cheese and that, and feta cheese, I don't know what I'll have. I, mean, I like my carbs in the morning, you know what I'm saying? I like my carbs. So, having said that though, that weren't carbs. How interesting or not, this whole manin and soup thing, apart from this bagel thing, right, that weren't carbs though. But it was delicious, literally, guys. So, yeah, man. We're doing it. But yeah, guys, I hope. I, didn't, I know I didn't touch on weed too much, but. I mean, something I wanted to speak about super quickly to my mind. And I thought, hold on, if I don't mention it now, will I mention it later or not? Does that make sense? So, um, that's something to think about, isn't it? Is, Drugs, mm. drugs and alcohol, they are against Islam, but also even if you're not Muslim, they are there to keep society down. Does that make sense, right? You know, a lot of successful people, they don't go out there and take drugs or alcohol. You probably think they do, but they don't. Yeah, some people probably who've already made it and are really successful and have got so bored that they've got nothing to do with their life, might be out there taking drugs and alcohol, but you'll notice after some time, they become depressed. Look at a lot of celebrities, what happens to them, right? Like, they become depressed after some time. And the thing is, you'll be thinking, oh, how, how is this person depressed? How could they become depressed? The reason is, guys, they've been taking all these antidepressants, like alcohol and drugs, which they didn't realize were like that. And they start getting depressed because they don't, their the mind just starts going mad, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's the truth, guys. Right? You something to think about. Trust me. That's why I think all these most these celebrities they go psycho after a bit. It's because of that. But something to think about, guys. As I told you. Um, so if you are smart, don't be stupid like me who did smoke weed at one point. Or anyone out there who thinks it's cool to do so. Because promise, I promise you one thing. Initially, it might not seem like that. After some time, it will catch up on you, and you'll start to see the effects in your life and you'll think, whoa, hold up, I didn't even realise it's happening, right? And that's another example, some people who smoke heroin, for example, or crack, 
you think they ever wanted to smoke heroin or crack? They don't want to smoke heroin or crack, but they start off on smaller things, right? And when they start off on smaller things, then things don't get to them no more. So nobody smokes weed. Everybody can't smoke weed no more. Like, you don't get this as burning anymore. Let me give you an example, right? So right now, people smoke something called Cali, right? You know, when I was younger, we used to smoke something called, like, there was different types of weed strains, but now, that was like 10 pounds for like a, a, a gram. Does that make sense, right? But now, people, or th- uh, now people are spending 80 pounds, right, on 3.5 grams. Does that make sense? 80 pounds is called Cali. Like, why are you gonna spend that stupid money Stupid amount of money on what you're burning, you're burning. So that means people, the normal weed ain't getting to the normal. So I'm gonna spend 80 pounds on 3.5 grams, right? That's like 27 pounds a gram. Does that make sense, right? Why? Because it's, it's not getting to them. What's gonna be the next thing then? Once this ain't getting to them, they're gonna choose another drug, another drug, another drug, and it's a cycle. And they always say, no, I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't do that. Let me tell you one thing right now. Every person you see with an alcoholic or is fully on drugs, or, you know, or like some, what people, some might do to be crackheads. They started off with smaller drugs and then they just went on to bigger bigger drugs because they thought i can't be that bad i can't be that bad Bam. It sucks, man. but anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you enjoyed what i'm saying do check out tegta as i said if you do come down they have a variety of breakfasts obviously once they like to go for a turkish breakfast and the normal english breakfast they also do that they have a variety of items as you've seen they've got the pastries they've got the pizza they've got the bagels um guys they've also got the baklava's going off so guys I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like the video, comment on the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, comment, like, everything. You know what I'm going to finish it with, guys. Navid Central. Peace and love. Navid Central.